My name is Isaac Bali. I stay in the oldest mission station in South Africa called Ghanadunda. Ghanadunda is the first mission station on the continent of Africa. Uh, I was the curator of the museum for 50 years, so my interest was actually the history of this place. This place was formerly a Khoi Khoi settlement where the missionaries found the people and they brought Christianity to my community. I can trace my own family history, six generations, to the indigenous Khoi Khoi people. The place was called Glen of the Baboons, but uh, it grew rapidly into the largest settlement next to Cape Town in South Africa. Many, many pioneer work done here. We are sitting now in the oldest training college in South Africa for teachers. We had the first infant school in South Africa, also the first primary school in South Africa, one of the best public libraries. We had many, many home industries, like the Ghanadno new classical chair was designed here, the first knife industry in South Africa. The coopers, the cobblers, the tanners, the wagon rights, they all flourished. No wonder that the governor at the Cape decided to call this place Ghanadno, meaning Valley of God's Grace, because he said God bestowed his grace on the people of this valley. And many, many years later, centuries later, the first democratic president in the country, Nelson Mandela, was so impressed with the history of Ghanadunda that he also called his residence in Cape Town Ghanadunda. Ghanadunda uh, today is a poor, degraded, remote little town. Um, no job creation actually um, and uh, the golden age is gone no longer but I personally believe as a Christian if we first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness God will again bless this community while his grace is still prevailing here God is still waiting for the people to turn away from their wicked ways put their trust in the Lord and once again he will bless us Nadal is a Moravian mission station. Moravia referred to Moravia, the old province in Europe. You had Moravia and Bohemia. Later on it became Czechoslovakia. The church originated in Moravia, which is today the Czech Republic. And um, they actually, uh, this church was uh, found in the 1457 they were the followers of John Huss, the first uh, reformer, you can say, a hundred years before Martin Luther. And that terrible uh, religious war broke out, uh, the Thirty Years' War, and uh, many Moravians fled their country and they settled in Germany. On the estate of a German nobleman, the Count Nikolaus von Zinzendorf. And uh, it was there, um, in the little village called Harnhut, that they decided to send a missionary to the Cape of Gudo. So the church today 
um, or the Moravian Church um, started in 1738 in this place called Ghanadendal. Uh, today we have in South Africa about 90,000 Moravian Church members. It is of course a Protestant church and if I may say the very first Protestant church in the world who settled then uh, at the Cape of Gouda or in South Africa. Um, there are many other mission stations like Elam, Wuppertal, Clarkson, Hautkloof, etc. Um, and uh, life is continuing here. I myself is a radical Christian fundamentalist. I don't belong to a church. I believe the Bible is the word of God and because of that, that I was excommunicated. But I am still a believer. I believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. We are sitting at the moment in the Ghanadno Mission Museum. I started as a very young boy um, way back in 1963 um, showing a keen interest. I was very curious about my past and I was allowed to start here and to collect artifacts which I called Ghanadendaria. Gnadendalia meaning all the objects made at Gnadendalia, manufactured here or used here. So this museum became the most authentic community museum in South Africa. In 1991 the contents of this museum was declared as a national cultural treasure. No other museum in our country has got this status. Every artifact that you see here, and we have about 15,000 artifacts uh, portraying the past of Ghanadna. I call the museum also the conscience um, and the memory of this community. And through this museum we also offer, not only for tourists, a time to enjoy, but also a facility to do research work. We have a research arm and as well as an educational arm, inviting school kids from all over South Africa to come and visit this place. Because in the past, um, a community like this, not being European, it was not important to, uh, to many people in South Africa. But now that we have a museum and we have tangible evidence of the past, people are showing a keen interest to know a part of South Africa which is half forgotten. For example, we have here the oldest pipe organ in South Africa, the oldest fire engine in South Africa, and many, many other firsts, and people enjoy it. Most of our visitors, of course, uh, foreign visitors come from uh, Germany because of the German connection, but we get people from the East, from Europe, from the Americas, and even, even from Africa. And it is a joy for me showing people our beautiful past. We need to know the past before we can take a step 
uh, into future. And that is important for me. Then our youngsters also get a feeling of appreciation and the responsibility to look after our past. Because a people, a nation without history is like a man without a memory. And we would not like to lose our memory because God blessed this community in such a way that we need to honor Him and Him alone. Soli Deo Gloria. Thank you.